Welcome to my sealed aquarium. Um, small container, similar to Bulbasaur's hidden garden. Uh, got some floating plants from my aquarium and some water from my aquarium too. We've got two uh, small cherry shrimp, um, low quality color. They're just uh, from uh, my fish tank. Just ones that I pulled out randomly and thought, yeah, they'll, they'll do. There's a male and a female. There's a couple of pest snails. You can see there's one there. There's one up there too. Um, and there's also a large yellow rabbit snail just at the back there. Um, that would eventually grow the shell to be about that large, but um, it, they will take a long time for it to get to that stage. So until I feel like it has outgrown this area, um, they'll be staying inside. So there's already an algae buildup around the whole of the glass but that's absolutely fine. I, I'm hoping that that will slow down once um, the plants really do start to take effect. This uh, moss I absolutely love. Uh, see there's a shrimp there. Don't know how well I was going to pick it up. Probably not very well at all. But they are both in there. They're quite happy. Um, but as you can probably tell, there's a few things on the side. I've um, got a couple of rocks from my aquarium as well and a squirtle to go inside as well. There's no point in having one of these if you're not gonna put a squirtle inside it, eh? There's actually also a few triops in there that I bought online. Um, I bought a load of seeds. So, um, fingers crossed, I don't think we're gonna be able to see any because they are so small at the moment. Fingers crossed they do start growing out though. Um, it's such a light background, it's also very hard to see. Does that make it any easier? No, not really. So all I'm going to do is bring the uh, the moss to the front because that's where the majority of the um, life is going to be. And then should be able to just drop that to the back. You can see there's actually quite a lot of feces in there. Um, all that will do is fertilise the plants. Um, I might have to put another plant in there. I don't quite know what it will be yet, but I will find something else to put in there. So now we've got this big one. This is going to be fun. Putting it in with these tweezers is not the easiest. Move out of the way, snail. So we've got a, a mini aquascape there. Not too bad. A few air bubbles. I know the camera's not picking it up, but there's a few triops just swinging around, which is quite nice. Now, time for our new Squirtle. So let's just put him in there. Oh, let's go that way around. That might be easier. Oh, this is going to be hard. There he is. Squirtle is now in his new home. Um, I'm hoping the, the pest snail population won't be too bad. Only time will tell. Um, I just keep this on the windowsill in my office. So the light it naturally gets from this direction. Um, I only really use this as a background just to try and count numbers. I um, don't know if you can just see it. But floating around. At the end of my finger, there is a triop. I'm hoping that the camera's picking that up, but it's so small. You're talking, I would say maybe one and a half, two millimeters at a push. So fingers crossed, the next update, um, there will be a lot bigger. Um, probably be about a month's time um, until we update this. Um, the others, I think, will be three months after the initial setup. Um, I think we'll do it as one, three, six, 
9 and 12. We'll, we'll do something. We'll see what's going on. But there we are. Squirtle Squad has his new home. Um, and we will catch up with him in about a month's time. Let's um, see him back up and put him back on the windowsill. That is it for me, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.